So we already spoke about velocity, now let's discuss acceleration. So whenever an object's velocity is changing, it increases or decreases, that object is said to be accelerating. So acceleration simply tells us how quickly or slowly an object's velocity is changing. So average acceleration is given by the following symbol, lowercase a with a bar on top. The bar simply means our average. The formula for average acceleration is given by the following equation. Change in velocity divided by change in time. In simple form, delta v over delta t. Now, recall that our velocity has both magnitude as well as direction, and this implies that acceleration too has both magnitude as well as direction. So, whenever we specify our numerical value for acceleration, we also have to specify in which direction our object is accelerating. So, let's look at the following example. A race car accelerates from rest to a velocity of 35 meters per second in 6 seconds. Find the average acceleration. Let's make the assumption that our race car is moving along the x-axis in the positive direction. So it's accelerating in the positive direction. So our velocity is along the x-axis toward the right. Now, what is our magnitude? Well, what's our initial velocity and final velocity? Initial is zero and final is 35 meters per second. Our time period is six seconds. So, we take that information, we plug it into our formula. 35 meters per second minus zero meters per second divided by six seconds, we get 35 divided by six, and we get six meters per second squared in the positive direction is our average acceleration. So. Let's look at deceleration. So deceleration is actually acceleration in the opposite direction of our velocity. So when an object's velocity decreases and it is slowing down, we say that it is decelerating. So deceleration is simply the car slowing down. So let's suppose our car is moving from some velocity 20 meters per second to a velocity of 0 meters per second. So as it goes this way, in the positive direction along the x-axis, it's decelerating in the opposite direction. So the car above is slowing down because it's accelerating in the opposite direction or decelerating. Its acceleration is negative. So let's look at the following example. A car is moving to the right with a velocity of 20 meters per second as shown above. The driver hits the brakes and comes to a complete stop in 6 seconds. What is the average acceleration of our car? So we want to find what the deceleration is. So once again we use the same exact formula. Our uh, lowercase a with the average with the bar on top equals. So we begin at 20 meters per second and end at 0 meters per second. So 0 minus 20 divided by 6, we get negative 20 divided by 6, approximately negative 3.3 meters per second squared. So our object, the car, is accelerating at a rate of 3.3 meters per second squared in the negative opposite direction of its velocity, aka it's decelerating, it's slowing down.